It's not that I don't like modern art. I do like modern art, but I'm just really tired of like being told that if I'm doing modern art, like it's sort of like installation art, but it's like sort of like decor. It's definitely an art piece for me, and I like boho and like boho chic and gypset. So this is like very much in that spirit where it's like a ton of things from all over the world and different people and I've put them together in my art. And a lot of times there's this huge snobbery of modern artists that art must from now on be ugly on purpose. Well, I want to make it beautiful but at the same time like I also like the flaws in it. Like it's old, it's used, it's vintage. They dinged up but I like that I also just drilled the whole thing I finished drilling it at my dad's house and I tried to drill it last year but I had to hunch over on the floor like literally right here and it kept hurting my back and I hurt my back so bad so for right now what I have is the silver wire wrapped around here and now I'm gonna make a base to let it sit on and then I'll probably attach more of these but I probably need to get more wire. Here's the progress on my pot so far. I can actually hold it. It's still a little wobbly but I'm gonna reinforce that. I have a support, I have two support structures under here. I'm gonna reinforce it even more. I have been hiding different parts of it so and securing it. I have more here. Here's the, crystal, the first crystal and I haven't done the back side yet so I'll be doing that. These are the other crystals that I have so I'm probably going to stick them on like so this guy this is gonna go on the top and the lid and this will be for more more details and hiding like I guess you could call them seams or something. This is my progress so far on the other side. I'm, I, I coiled this around and you can see that. And now I'm starting to weave this down and secure it down. And I actually haven't finished securing it on this side either. They don't have to be exactly perfect. I don't exactly want it to be totally symmetrical. I'm just kind of going with my feelings with it. And then I will probably be weaving this part here and securing that part and then I will put another part over top of here and start um, affixing more of these crystals. <sighs> this is my work on this today. I've been reinforcing this detail. I've been reinforcing these structures and making sure that it's nice and stiff. Like I can hold it now, it doesn't really wobble as much. I've also added more reinforcement to this side and now I have to do the rest of this part. There's my lantern. I actually got sick so I couldn't film the entire process. But this is basically it. I have crystals all over the place and then I have LED lights inside. It's pretty heavy by now. So I have painted it and repainted it. I shellacked it. You can actually see all the silver wire wrapping, different crystals. There's so much detailing that I did into it. I have different structures and different ways to reinforce it. You can see all kinds of stuff going on here. I don't really care about the dent. I got this at the Home Depot. And then I have two sets of LED lights, so it's coming out. One here. And you can see everything inside. You can see two different colored lights in there. You can see all kinds of crystals that I have in here.
from the back. You can actually see that there's a dent in it. I don't care. I just like the I just like it the way it is and I just think it gives it character. So you can see a lot more detail. These are uh, different crystals here that I added. I put this one in, this one in, and there's one down here. There's also one in there. You can see all kinds of detailing happening. So why did I do this? What does it mean? What is it for? I saw this pot at my dad's house um, in 2014 and I saw it, it's broken and the handle was broken and then I just had a ton of ideas and I was really inspired to make basically this only I didn't know it was going to be this extravagant at the time when I made it I originally just wanted to put a simple crystal in it and wire wrap it and then by a mistake I ordered it and I ordered the right size but the company sent me the wrong size and they gave me one that was too big. So then I wrote to the company and I was like, what am I going to do? I don't have money to send it back. Like, what do you recommend? And I, I felt that they were a decent company and they were decent people. And so the guy actually sent two more <laughs> to make sure that it fit. And then I was researching wire wrapping. I already wanted to put the LED lights in it and do this. I saved up a bunch of nickels and coins just to get this crystal knob at Home Depot. I was trying to drill these by hand last year and I hurt my back really bad so I had to stop and then I went to my dad's house and finished drilling it at my dad's house in Pennsylvania because well he moved from New Jersey to Pennsylvania so I got it in New Jersey and then I drilled it in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Um, so it's 2017 right now. It's a busted vessel. A vessel of, you know, you're supposed to put like liquid in it, like water or something. It even has um, a filter in there. So I don't know how my dad got it or where my dad got it. I just know that when I saw it, I was like, I need to have it. I like boho and boho chic, bohemian gypsum type stuff. And it's obviously very whimsical. And over the course of doing a whole bunch of art in the past few years, I came across a lot of students uh, online, and they liked doing art because they liked doing beautiful things. They liked doing pretty things. But when they went to school, academia was scolding them and punishing them for making beautiful or commercial things. And these instructors were telling artists that by doing art that was beautiful, it wasn't actually art. Which doesn't make any sense to me, but it's a very common phenomenon right now. So I am being anti-anti-art. I'm doing something beautiful on purpose. I took something old and ugly and instead of putting it on display as ugliness, which is like really a thing right now with art, I defied that and said, no, I want to do something beautiful. To me, it's beautiful, even with the flaws on it. And both sides look different. So the front, the, this side and the back side look different. I can't tell you how many people have told me how much they love this and that they couldn't wait to see it finished. So it's basically finished. Thank you.